Good morning, everyone. This week's Torah portion begins with the word Vayikach. And he, Korach, took a number of people and they went and led a rebellion against Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our leader. And our rabbis focus on the word Vayikach. Why did he take? What did he take? Why doesn't it just say he went, he stood up, he protested? Why is the opening word Vayikach and he took? And one of the beautiful explanations is that in life, there are givers and takers, or as the best-selling author of the book, Give and Take, Adam Grant explains, there are givers, takers, and matchers. Takers are people who are always looking to take. Matchers are people who say, I'll give you as much as you give me. And then there are givers who focus on giving. And you would think it's the takers or the matchers that are most successful in life. But studies prove that it's the givers who become the most successful. And the surest path to success is to be a giver and not to be a taker. Korach was a taker, Vayikach. He was focusing on taking power and honor and prestige for himself. And that was his downfall. When you focus on taking, it brings about your own failure. You know, there's a phenomenon today with phones called selfies. People take selfies. And a lot of times there are countless stories and videos of people trying to get a good video, a good selfie picture at the edge of a cliff or at the edge of a boat and then not paying attention and falling over. And to me that's a metaphor that when you focus on yourself rather than seeing the big picture around you, sometimes you could overstep and it can lead to your destruction. Korach wrote about his own destruction by only focusing on himself. You know, last Sunday, it made international news. There was a Palestinian riot protest outside a synagogue, which led to violence of Jews being attacked when walking into a synagogue. And it happened in a very Jewish neighborhood, Pico Robinson in Los Angeles. And all the news media outlets reported this vicious attack by Palestinians against innocent Jews walking into a synagogue on a Sunday afternoon. But the question is, why were people going to the synagogue in the afternoon? People go to the synagogue in the morning for prayers, in the evening, why in the middle of the afternoon? And what has not been reported is what was going on inside the synagogue that was bringing hundreds of people to the synagogue that Sunday afternoon. And what was going on is that ever since October 7th, there's been a tremendous uptick 90% uptick compared to last year this time for Aliyah, for people wanting to move to Israel during this period, which is an unbelievable phenomenon, that in this moment of crisis, Jews are saying, I want to go to Israel, I want to be part of the Jewish people, I want to support the Jewish nation. And so there is an organization in Israel, headed by a man by the name of Gideon Katz, that arranges fears to go to communities around the world and display different options of different communities and different apartments and real estate opportunities for people to buy a home in Israel and make Aliyah. And such a fear by Gideon Katz's company was being organized in this synagogue in Los Angeles. And 350 people showed up to learn about making Aliyah. And so while outside the Palestinians were protesting, Jews inside were learning how can we go strengthen the Jewish people. You see, Korach was motivated by jealousy. When you are jealous of someone else, that brings around about your own failure and, des and destruction. If you are jealous of someone, then ask yourself, if that person has something I don't have, how can I work hard to achieve it for myself? The Palestinians are jealous of the Jewish people. The success we've experienced in the land of Israel over the past 75 years, and it is causing them to be envious. But their fatal mistake that leads to their destruction time and again and again is that instead of looking at the Jewish people and saying, how can I learn from them? How can I be like them? How can we grow like them? And Israel will be the first ones to help them. They seek to destroy and to tear down and harm the Jewish nation. But that will never succeed because ultimately we are a nation of givers. And ultimately the surest path to success is to be a giver. Those who seek to take for themselves, to tear down, to destroy because of their jealousy like Korach, they are swallowed up alive by their hate, by their jealousy, and by their anger. Have a wonderful day.